Hi everyone, I am Dr. Shabanupal Misruya working as a professor in Savita College of Nursing, Savita University. I am going to present about the topic on effect of animated presentation in knowledge on personal hygiene among children at government primary school, Ruvallur. This paper was published in IJSR in 2015. The paper ID is SUV154112. Personal hygiene is the basic concept of cleaning, grooming and caring for our bodies and it includes practices that lead to cleanliness, health preservation and good personal appearance. Majority of the health problems affecting school age children are preventable by promoting hygiene practices through proper health education. UNICEF in the year 2013 reported that half of the school children in India having lack of personal hygiene. Also, it is generally recognized that childhood is the best time for children to learn hygiene behavior. Lack of hygiene practices and inadequate sanitary conditions play major roles in the increased burden of communicable diseases within developing countries. Census of India in the year 2010 in Maharashtra revealed that one child dies every 17 seconds due to easily preventable causes. Food Safety Association of India in the year 2009 estimated that around 5.5 million people are affected with foodborne diseases due to unhygienic food handling. National Health Survey in the year 2009 also reported that every year more than 164 million absentees due to illness in schools which was caused by improper hygiene. In today's society, every children are exposed to media from very young age onwards. So that the teaching with video will catch their attention definitely. Hence the idea of research was started. The objectives of the studies were assess the level of knowledge on personal hygiene among children in both experimental and control group. Assess the effectiveness of computerized presentation on knowledge on personal hygiene in the experimental group. Associate the pre-test and post-test level of knowledge on personal hygiene with the selected demographic variables. The methods of the research are the following. First, about the aim of the study is to assess the effectiveness of animated presentation on knowledge on personal hygiene among primary school children in which the quasi-experimental design was used. The setting was government primary school at Chittipet village and Kutambakam village from which the children who were studying 4th and 5th grade were selected. The total number of sample size was 100. They were selected by random sampling technique in which touching assigned random numbers was used. The instrument has two sections. Section 1 includes the demographic data consists of child's age, sex, education, type of family, number of siblings in the family and food habits. Section 2 includes structured interview questionnaire on personal hygiene which consists of 24 multiple choice questions. About the results and discussion, the frequency and percentage distribution of demographic variable among children in experimental and control group were showing that 27 which means 54 percent of them in the experimental and 25 that is 50 percent of them in the control group were eight years of age regarding the gender of the child 22 in the experimental and 28 of them in the control group are males the same way 22 in the experimental and 28 in the control group were females regarding family type 38 of them in the experimental and 36 of them in the control group belongs to joint family and 12 of them in the experimental and 14 of them in the control belongs to nuclear family. Regarding the number of living children, 6 of them in the experimental group and 5 of them in the control group were having one child and 24 of them in the experimental and 26 of them in the control group are having two children. Table 1 shows frequency and percentage distribution of knowledge on personal hygiene among children in experimental and control group. You can see here that inadequate knowledge in experimental group showing that 
children are having in pre-test and in post-test only four of them. Regarding the moderate adequate knowledge, five of them in the pre-test and 34 of them in the post-test. In uh, regarding the adequate knowledge, two of them in the pre-test and 12 of them in the post-test in experimental group. In control group, 42 of them in uh, pre-test and 41 of them in the post-test are having inadequate knowledge. Five of them in the pre-test and six of them in the post-test are having moderately adequate knowledge. In both pre and post-test, three of them are having adequate knowledge. Table 2 shows pad t-test knowledge on personal hygiene among control group and experimental group. This table shows the mean value, standard deviation and the t-test values, which proves that there was significant difference between the experimental and control group. The discussion shows that the chi-square test revealed that there was no significant association between knowledge and selected demographic variables in experimental and control group at the level of P less than 0.05. The study findings was supported by another study which was conducted by Olivia P. et al. in the year 2010. It's a cross-sectional study in Ethiopia for the school children on knowledge, attitude and practice regarding personal hygiene which was done by interview method. The study reported that 52% of the students were having adequate knowledge on personal hygiene. So the conclusion of the study is it is very essential to educate the children about the personal hygiene during their school period. These were the references used for this publication. Thank you for listening. Hope you might have benefited out of this presentation. Thank you once again.